Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. So from this session, we are going to see how to create the quiz in Moodle. So in the last two videos, so in part one and part two video, we have seen the creation of questions. So in part one and part two, please look at this video. And there are ten different types of questions that are already uploaded in videos, part one and part two. So there are two videos, part one and part two, wherein ten types of different types of questions were already uploaded. And now, using those questions in the question bank, we are going to create a quiz. So, first question is creation of question. Second question is upload to question bank. That's also done. Now, the third option is creation of quiz. Now, this is the activity that we are going to plan for the students for assessments and evaluation. So, this is the third option. So, this is very important. Please check it. So, now go to the course here. Moodle introduction. So, now this is the course here so now first you make turn editing on so this turn editing on so once you have done it so here only we are going to create an activity so create an activity here all activities you can see somewhere we have something called as quiz so please remember this is the option where we will be creating the quiz so create this quiz so once we done so first thing is quiz number one so let me use my name here Pradeep Kumar. Okay, now here there is no negative marking. There are totally five questions and ten marks. So there are totally five questions and ten marks. So I am just giving it here and display the description on the course page if you click this box then this will be displayed in the course page itself okay now timing so in the timing here so from which time to which time you want to open the quiz and what is the total time limit so whenever the quiz has been opened the total time limit is 10 minutes so let it be 10 minutes so when to when the quiz link will be opened so beyond this time before the time the link will be closed actually so now the date is today 26 july uh, it's around 15 46 to let me go with 1646 for, for one hour the link will be open after one hour the link will be closed again so nobody can able to see the link then here in the option here is open attempts or submit and automatically that means uh, after the time elapse whatever the questions have been already selected will be submitted to the database in case the student have to uh, compulsorily submit it you can give this option else grace period you can give the grace period so by default is this then grade so how much grade you want to give how many attempts you want to give so there are unlimited attempts also possible there but you can give first attempt that is great then layout so in the layout every five questions you want to create a page or every 10 questions so like that we have up to every 50 questions in one page up till that time you can go and you can give five or ten questions here five now here free uh, navigation method is free or sequential so free means they can move between any question to any question. Sequential means they can move one by one. Question number one, two, three, like that, they can go. So, they let me go with the free navigation. Then, question behavior. So, deferred feedback is one of the constant behavior that we will be having. So, leave it as it is. So, in the review options, we don't uh, do anything. All the tick boxes have been disabled. So, only the attempt will be shown. In case if you want to show the marks after the attempt is done, you can give tick this option immediately after the attempt. Usually for all the term and examinations, we will be hiding this because we won't reveal the marks to the students. In case if we want to reveal the marks to the students, we can enable this marks. So other than these two tick box, none of the boxes will be ticked. Okay, now appearance. The appearance. So in case if you want to students to see the other students images, you can enable the image or else no image will leave it as it is. Then safe exam browser, so this will see it on a separate video because uh, this safe exam browser will be a browser window wherein the student cannot do anything other than writing the examination. So this kind of browser, maybe in the next video I will just give you some introduction on what is safe exam browser, how to enable this. Okay. Now there is extra restriction, so in case we want to give a password to the students, we can give a password for the opening the quiz, not for the username password, it is only the password for opening the quiz. So let me give a quiz password here. Let me give hello here. Now the name of the quiz is hello. I mean the password for the quiz is hello. Then in case if you want to give a network address, that means that if uh, inside the campus if you want to conduct any exam, 
if the student have to write the exam only in a particular laboratory then give the ip address of the entire laboratory so that's why this address came okay now other thing no need now now feedback restricts access so in case if you have a group here so click the grouping and then give your group yes now save and return to course a very simple option so this is my quiz click this quiz now we have created the quiz but we have not added any any questions to the quiz so now here this is the option here the quiz will open on sunday it's already open will close on sunday 4:46 pm now we are going to add the questions here so the option here is edit quiz now in the edit quiz the total maximum grade is i want to give 10 marks so let me give 10 in case we want to give 50 can give 50 no issues in that save and shuffle you can make the shuffle all the questions what you are going to add now here there is an option called as add button there are three options add a new question add from question bank add a random question so usually if you want to go randomness click random question so in the random question you can see there are so many modules are there so in the close i will get one question so number of random questions from the close i want to give one okay so one category then again i will go with the add random question Uh, in module number 5 i will click one question so there are totally five so question with image question with equation question with audio video like this i will click one question here then question number 3 will be add a random question let me go with the module number 2 there is only one question it is matching let me give one question if you have more than one matching also it will be randomly selected and add another uh, random question from module number 3 and one more question i will take then add again a random question module number 4 i'll click one more so everywhere we have one more question and we have one more uh, total total five questions i have given five let's say no issues i can give one more question as well random question so module number 4 here is uh, let's say module number 5 there are two i want to give two questions so how many random questions you want to give i want to give two here so click two here likewise if you want to give 15 you can give 15 questions if you want to give 25 you can give 25 like that up to 1 to 100 questions you can do it random so let me give two questions and random okay so now i have done all the questions so totally i have seven marks uh, but the maximum grade will be 10 so anyhow we can able to do that Okay, now the quiz have created. Now I go back here. Now I click this quiz here. Now once I click this quiz, I will get an option called as attempt quiz. Now, now the questions are uploaded. The quiz is created. Questions uploaded. Now attempt in the quiz. Now here it will ask for the password. I already given the password called as hello. So start attempt. So once I start attempting it, I will get all the questions here. Okay. So now what happens here is first question is. Uh, Sachin belongs to India, and Richards belongs to West Indies. So this is one option. What is the area of a triangle with a height seven point six, base eight point one? Seven point six. I can use this, but the student cannot use calculator. Seven point six into eight point one into point five. Thirty point seven eight. I can give the value three thirty point seven eight. Then match the left with the right. England. Chin Bond, Australia, uh, Marco, Sri Lanka, Sangakara, Kenya, Odumbe, India, Sachin. Okay, so now, what is Adhir is talking about? Now the recording starts. Hi, learners. Now I am going to talk about a disease that is spread across the entire world now. Almost it killed nearly six lakh people across the world. In India alone. There are so many. Uh, around twenty-nine thousand people have been killed by this disease. Okay. So in this audio, the audio-based question. So it is I am talking about this corona. The other is talking about the disease corona. Okay. Next thing is drop the markers in the corresponding icons as given in the image. So terminal. So this is the terminal. And uh, G-edit. This is the G-edit window. App Store. Uh, this is an App Store. Firefox. This is Firefox. Chrome, mm, this maybe I'll do something wrong, possibly. Then folder, okay, these two I make it wrong. And LibreOffice, 
लिबर ऑफिस इज समवेयर हियर ओके नाउ इट इज डन नाउ गो टू द नेक्स्ट पेज नाउ दिस जस्ट आई एम ओनली प्रीवीविंग इट आई एम नॉट आंसरिंग इट व्हाट इज द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल द बेस 9.2 या हाइट 7.2 सो 0.5 इनटू 9.2 इज 1.3 व्हाट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया न्यू दिल्ली नाउ फिनिश अटेम्प्ट now all the answers are saved and submit all and finish so once it is done it will show you the marks maybe i have done one thing wrong uh, let me see this is correct this is, yeah here i have done see that the yellow colors are correct the following markers are incorrectly placed why the following markers is chrome okay chrome is correct only terminal is correct and folder okay folder and uh, okay chrome i have done two times right so that's why it is wrong but all other questions i have made it right finish review so that's all about uh, the quiz creation so the grade will be 9.39 or something like this so maybe i'll just show you one quiz i have conducted for my students i'll go to the course here i have this i what internet of things here i'll be showing you the quiz what i conducted for the students it's only a mock quiz it's a mock so total attempts are 58 so you will get the screen like this in the 58 if you want to download the marks you can download it using this statement so any of this you can download so we let me not show you the students name let me show you the marks here so out of grade uh, out of 10 how much they scored so which question is wrong what are the questions are correct even if you click this you can able to get the information about the corresponding quiz corresponding questions and then uh, go to the end of this quiz you will be getting some beautiful graphs how many students score what marks so 9.5 to 10 there are totally only one participant so four people they score from 8 to 8.5 then 11 people from 7 to 7.5 and uh, this 6.5 to 7 so like this there are various uh, graphs are being shown here and if you want to delete any attempt you can delete it so maybe in the left hand side if you click this and delete selected attempt the attempt will be deleted but since it's only a mock quiz to just uh, understand how the students are writing the exam i have just given it sometimes student can flag the question as well so they can flag it also so this one what is average of each and every question that also we can able to find out how much score the marks the marks is scored for a particular question so we can download the entire excel sheet using any option that provided by moodle so comma separated values so even you can download this yes we have downloaded and then we can check it you can see so this is the way you can download this so whenever i want to check the marks what i do is i'll just uh, this is a grade out of 10 so all other questions grade i can delete it then i'll be getting only the marks so only the marks i have so this way i can submit the marks so very simple option here so only thing is you just conduct the quiz and then you download the marks so very easy option so such a long video i just categorized into three videos so one video this is the first part one for questions so you just refer all the videos all the videos you can refer part one for question upload 127 part two one question upload Uh, 8 to 10 part 3 this video that is quiz creation and part 4 will be secure exam browser this will be uh, shortly i will be getting it ready and will be published in my channel so thanks for watching this video so conduct your exam in great style and with uh, good uh, set of questions thank you very much